All right, today I'm gonna to be doing another little build, doing a little breeding pen. So I'm gonna start snapping these gates down. These are just the stone dinosaur gateways. They take up about two foundations um, per gate. So I've got a six by six area of foundations laid here. So it should be three gates per side and they will snap right in and they'll snap to each other and they'll line up perfectly. So I'm, you, you can use wood or whatever you want. Uh, I like the stone look a little better. They, they also snap better and then the walls we're gonna put in them just fit better. They line up better on uh, Arc Mobile. On, on console and everything, you can really use either one and you can get them to line up really well. But I think just so far from what I've been able to figure out on here is that the wood walls inside the stone gates or the stone walls inside, whichever one you want to use, work the best. So now we've got all these snapped in. That gate's going to be the entry point. So I'm going to mark that. And then we're going to take some stone fence foundations and we're just going to snap them into here. And then we're going to snap another one right up against it. And then these are going to be wood walls. So these will snap inside the gates just like that all the way up. There's a little, tiny little gap in the middle, but that's whatever. I'm fine with it. So we're going to go four high on all of those. So I'm going to do that for every single gate here. And we're going to make sure we get the right snap points in there for each one. There we go. And if you want, you can throw a wood wall uh, on the bottom on each one to make sure you want them to, the wood walls to be slightly inside the gates just to make sure they line up right. But I'm going to keep going around the whole thing and doing this. And then I'll be back in a second when I am finished. Alright, so so now we're going to start snapping all these wood walls in. See, that's, that's really what you want them to do is they're going to be inside. Sometimes if it's not lined up right the wood will be showing through the stone sides and it just doesn't look as neat. I mean, it's, it'll, it's still functional. It just doesn't, I don't like the way it looks as much. Pick that up. I didn't mean to put that there. So all of these are going four high. And the reason we're going to go four high, which I'll go into when I'm done with all this, but we're going to be snapping uh, ceilings on the top of them. I'll probably use the sloped walls though at the top to make it look a little bit cooler. I didn't mean to do that. All right. I'm almost done. And yeah, I'll finish this up. Okay. So I got all the walls snapped in. You see from the outside, we want to make sure that all of them are snapped in right. So I'm just gonna go around and check them. You can do this with thatch as well. The thatch doesn't line up as well for whatever reason. It like kind of pokes through the stone. It's hard to get it just right on here. Uh, it's, it's even worse with the wood gates. It just doesn't, it doesn't look as neat as I prefer it to look. All right, so now I'm gonna grab these angles out. Uh, this does take quite a few resources, but I'm using God console right now. So that way if I run out of anything, I can just real quick spawn in some resources and make it. So you got to pick the side you want to do these on. If you want so I'm going to choose this side and I should this is the most basic way to do it. But we we can do it both ways. The reason I chose this side is because uh you're not going to be able to snap these on top of the gate. You know, there's just no snap point there. Uh, so if I do it this way, they'll all angle along and close everything up nicely. You can still do it on top of the gate, but you have to line it with walls first. So I'll show that in a bit once we get all this going, because eventually I'm going to, I want to do that for the final design. I'm going to do like a cross design where we'll have both patterns. So we'll have these ones going sideways as well. And then the center one's going to run right down the middle and then we'll close all of it off. So we got all those set and we're just going to start dropping these slope thatch ceilings in. You can do, you can do wood or stone for this, whatever. I just like the thatch look on the wood walls inside of the stone gates. I think it looks cool. 
this is my favorite style of like breeding pin to do. It's also got a lot of room in it without having to just go up um, with just walls around. It just adds a little something extra cool with the gates being there. All right, so yeah, we keep snapping these all along. And you'll see that they end up closing off nicely like this. So as soon as we're done with this, you could leave it like this if you want. You don't even have to go any farther. So you get a cool design up there. And I didn't show it, but if, if you don't even want to do this, you can, on the fourth wall, when you go fourth high into the gates, you can snap flat ceilings onto the top of them and they'll go, they'll just snap all the way across if you just want it to be flat as well. If for some reason you want to do this for a base or something and land flyers on the top, you know, you could do that as well. You could even snap ceilings in a hatch frame somewhere up there. It would work the same. Uh, that's the whole purpose of you putting them on foundations so that it already has the support and it'll just take ceilings. You don't even have to worry about it. So, yeah, we could put some feeding troughs in there, you know, whatever. You could, it has plenty of room for fridges, air conditioners, torches. And then obviously we have a big enough area around here to bring out some of the bigger dinos as they're getting bigger. So the only other thing is that once you have these gates down, and I didn't think about this until uh, after, you can't extend the foundations at all. You have to do that before. So let me spawn some of these here. Okay, I'm gonna get some wood railings going around the front of it. Cause I'm gonna do a little entryway and I'll show you what I mean. So if I'm gonna do that little entryway I want, almost like a little porch out front, I guess, then I'm gonna have to tear down some of these gates. So I'll show you right now, the foundations will not snap out here. Just because of the way the gates are set up and the foundations on them with the walls, it's just, it won't work now. So I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna break these down in the front to do this real quick and I'm gonna get them back up to the point where we're, and then I'm gonna show you how to switch up the design that I'm gonna do. Cause I want the front gate to have the peak on the roofs. So this is the back gate directly behind the front gate that's going to be the entry point. So I'm going to snap these down and I'm going to get these ceilings going all the way across. And so I tore down the gate, I put the gate frame back up, I did the stone fence foundations and then wood walls just like I've done all the way around on all the others. So once you have those done, as long as we can snap these ceilings all the way across and they're attached to another point, like they're attached to the back wall right now. Then once we get up here to the front, we will be able to tear down all the wood walls underneath and snap a normal gate in and it'll hold the ceiling in place just fine. It's not all going to fall. And I'll show that right now. So we got these snapped. Come on. So we got those snapped in. And you see all the wood walls here. So I'm going to start tearing these down. Tear down the fence foundations. One more. They're gonna break all these walls. So you can do this with a lot of different de uh, designs and builds to get different little, well, I keep saying that, but different little designs in it. Uh, so, cause this will hold the ceilings in place without having all the walls. Now the gate's gonna snap right in, boom. And then we still have the peak up there and the angled walls, so. Then I'm going to keep this design because I want, I, I, I like it to be a little weird and have be go in different directions. So the other way to do it is that we're going to have to start unsnapping all of these thatch walls because there's a gap in between that we need to close off. So you see all these gaps right here. Those are just going to be open unless we close them off. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to have to break these first thatch roofs right here. Then we're going to go down here and we're going to start snapping. This does this method uses a lot of resources though because we're going to snap down four walls and we're going to do the same right here. 
so we can put the angled ceilings or the angled walls excuse me on top then we're gonna snap our slope thatch roof down be on both sides here and now the same thing like we did on the gate we're gonna be able to, and that's closed off now but the same thing like we've done the gate we're gonna be able to tear all this down and those little angled wall pieces will sit into place because the ceiling's gonna hold them there so we'll tear these down real quick make sure you're not tearing down the wrong thing a little laggy there And that's going to hold right into place there. Yeah, so to finish this thing off, I'm going to go around and do that for every single one of these peaks, which is going to be a lot of walls. All right, got the little entryway finished here as well, little porch out front. And I finished up all the angled walls in here to close all these peaks off. So it all fits in nicely. I like doing it that way just because it's something different. It looks weird with all the uh, the design, like the going the different ways. Ugh, can't talk. But it's you have definitely got a decent amount of room in here for a breeding pin, and it looks kind of cool when you're looking up at it. All right, I'm gonna run outside real quick so you can see it better from out here. I really like the stone with the wood walls in it and the thatch roof. That's my favorite design of a breeding pen to do. And maybe it'll give somebody else some cool ideas to do for their pen or even their base. You can put a base in there as well. But that's going to do it for my breeding pen or the Dino Love Shack, whatever you want to call it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed.